Hello everybody and welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to talk about a fellowship that has uh, been launched recently. That is the JNCASR Summer Research Fellowship Program 2023. That is FR SRFP, right? So this has a stipend of rupees 10,000 per month and it is applicable for life science students as well. So let us see in detail about this particular fellowship. I'm Dr. Vaishali, Academic Specialist at Biotechnica. Biotechnica is a space where we guide you in anything and everything regarding your bioscience career. Come, let's explore the topic. So first and foremost, the last date for application for this particular uh, JNCASR SRFP is the 28th of February. So you have around a month's time for you to apply for this particular fellowship. So let us run in detail about the details of this fellowship as well as how to apply, what is the application procedure, what is the eligibility and what is, what is it that you require in order to apply for this particular fellowship, right? So firstly, the fellowship is uh, a flagship program of JNCASR and this is uh, throughout uh, the area of life sciences, of chemical sciences, physical science, mathematics and engineering, right? And this fellowship is provided for about 150 students and they will be given a fellowship of rupees 10,000 per month. So this particular um, Fellowship has these research areas in that in particular we are going to talk about the life sciences, right? So in life sciences, what are the different research areas that is available? That is infectious and non-infectious diseases, bioinformatics, developmental biology, biochemistry, molecular biology, immunology, genetics, life history evolution, circadian be uh, biology, animal behavior, behavioral ecology, evolutionary genetics, evolutionary biology, experimental evolution, population dynamics, uh, phylogeography, neurophysiology, behavioral neurobiology and behavioral genetics and cell biology, right? So these are the different research areas uh, in this part uh, for this particular fellowship. So if at all you're interested in any of these areas, then you can apply for this fellowship. Next, let us look at what is the eligibility criteria, whether you're eligible to apply for this fellowship or not. So first and foremost, the students who have secured not less than 80%, so you should have um, secured above 80% in maths and science in your plus two, right, in both the 10th and the 12th standard or the equivalent examination, whichever you've given. So you have, you should have, um, you should have uh, scored more than 80% in maths and science subjects. So that is one educational qualification. The second is about your graduation or post-graduation. So in this, you should have had first class. You should have passed in first class in your graduation or your post-graduation. Now, what all courses are applicable uh, if you're doing which all courses that is graduation or post graduation uh, in which year and which course uh, will you be able to apply for especially for life sciences that's what we're going to see now so firstly um, so this particular fellowship is not is uh, there only is applicable only for the students who are pursuing your the previous the the first few years of your graduation and not for the final year so it is final year minus 1 uh, and below levels of graduation, if at all you are uh, studying in those levels, then you are applicable. So if you are studying in first or second years of BSc, your first or second or third years of BS, so BSc is um, in total for three years. So if you are in the first or second year, then you are eligible, not for the third years of BSc students. And for BS, first, second or third years of uh, BS because BS is a four years course. So if you are in the first three years, you can apply. Next is first, second or third year of your BE and BTEC. So again, BE or BTEC, it is a four years course. So the fourth year students cannot apply. It's only open for the first, second and third year students. Similarly, for 
for uh, post graduation that is msc uh, if you are in the first year of your msc or if you are in the first second third or fourth years of your integrated msc you can apply for this particular fellowship so this particular fellowship it is available for two continuous months with a stipend of rupees 10 uh, rupees 10000 per month right so and as we talked about this fellowship it was um, it was open from 20th of jan 2023 and it is available till the 28th of feb 2023 that is your deadline right so now let us look at the application procedure right so so this is the uh, link that's available at the biotechnica website so the link is available below uh, in the description box as well so once you go to the website you will have the apply online link so once you press the apply online link the gncasr uh, uh, site will open right here if you are already registered you need to go to the, just the login page but if you are a new user then you need to register so let me run through the registration process as well so first and foremost you need to click on the register process once you click here you will get all of these details so you should input your first name your email id and you have to set a password right once you do that you need to go for register now once you have put your first name your email id as well as your password and then you press submit then you will uh, be redirected to this particular page so here it says you need to verify your email address so whatever email address that you've given you will get a, a verification link for that particular uh in to that particular email id so you need to open your email id and then you need to verify it if at all you've not gotten any request then you can click here that is click here to send another request so this might take some time so give it at least 3 to 5 minutes uh for you to get that particular link onto your email address and then before even you uh, press this particular link okay so wait for at least 3 to 5 minutes to get that that uh, link okay so once you, so once uh, you get that particular link and then you verify from your email id then you will be redirected to this particular page so here you have all the uh, outreach programs uh, whatever has been um, you know called out for and this is the only available one right now which is open so you click to apply here and then this particular page will open so this is the S SRFP that is summer research uh, fellowship program so here you can read the instru instructions that is given so first and foremost is your personal details that is your profile photo it has you should need you need a latest profile photo of just a um, uh, maximum size of 2 mb right it has to be in the ratio of 1 is to 1 and it should be in the format of jpg jpeg or png format so if at all you have a photo of yourself a, re a latest photo uh convert it into 1 is to 1 ratio and uh, it has to be in uh, the format of jpg jpg uh, jpg or png and make sure that it is less than uh, 2 mb so if at all it's more than 2 mb then you can use any online tools to convert it into lesser than 2 mb photo right so next is your full name so use your full name do not use the special characters in your full name then input your date of birth and then your gender and then the category right so after your uh, personal details has been filled then is your educational details so you need to give your 10th and 12th details so here uh, uh, as we already saw in the eligibility as well so students must have scored more than 80% aggregate in class 10 and 12 and the mark sheet of it also should be uh, uploaded so the Size should not be more than two MB, and it has to be in the PDF format. So, if at all it is in any other format, convert it into PDF format with any online tools that's available, and uh, make sure that the size is less than two MB. Then the subject. So, the the student should have uh, secured eighty percent. in all the subjects of class 10th and 12th right so that is also uh, necessary then the second one is your degree details so in your degree details uh, the course year right so the course year has to be done the course name so you need to from the drop down menu you can select what is your course name right and the year of joining 
and also the passing year. So all of these has to be inputted from the drop down menu that will be available. And uh, you should remember one thing here. What is the aggregate percentage that is necessary? So uh, you should make sure that your graduation or your post graduation, it has to not be less than 60% uh, in all your subjects, right? And the students who have not yet got your first semester results, that is if you're still in your first semester and you've not got your results yet, you are not eligible to apply for this particular fellowship right and uh, make sure that your aggregate percentage uh, marks is inputted in the form of percentage and not CGPA if at all it is in the form of CGPA convert it into percentage and then um, put it in the menu that is given right so these are the different um, uh, so the, these are the different um, list of things that is necessary for you to keep ready before you start applying right so here also there is a application fee of rupees 500 right so once you press apply here you will get all of these details so here is your photograph which has to be uploaded your name your date of birth everything so after the personal details the next will be your uh, educational details the degree all of that has to be uh, has to be put in these uh, particular forms and then you have to submit it before the deadline and the deadline is the 28th of February. So make sure that you apply it before the deadline gets over. If you have any doubts about the application uh, process, let us know in the comment section below. I'm sure this video was super helpful for everybody out there. Thank you so much and see you all until next video.